Ignatia, and um, when I think about um, my vocation and when it kind of came about, and then there's that turning point when I was away at college discerning my vocation, which was like seven hours away from my family, so they weren't um, up on every step of the way and every um, change and every, um, I guess, visit I went to the convent, they weren't there. So I remember distinctly calling my mother um, the weekend before I went to the convent when I was intended on um, asking to enter the community. I So I called my mom, I was walking through, you know, the student, what, like the student life center or something. And, was, and by that time I was very adamant, like I am doing this, I am, you know, getting the quote unquote papers to, to enter and so I tell her you know I'm planning I'm really gonna do this and then it was kind of quiet on the other end of the line she's like are you are you sure like very seriously she wanted to make sure that um, that I was doing the right thing and um, and I told her I was had already asked myself that like ten hundred times. Are you are you sure about this? Going back and forth, and so I kind of reacted. I was like, "Yes, I'm sure. I'm, <laughs> I'm doing this." And um, so then that conversation kind of ended. And then later, I think um, maybe I was, had been in the convent, and then she kind of went back through that experience, what that was like for her. And I think at the time I didn't realize what my mother and my father would have to give up with me going to the convent, um, that it's a lot harder for them, that it's, um, that we're gaining so much more. We're like fulfilling our heart's desire, hopefully, you know, going to the convent. But my mom said she, you know, she had to give up the whole, um, me having children, her grandchildren, you know, or doing the wedding planning, that sort of thing. Like all those things that she thinks that she's going to do with her, um, um, her girl. She's not she's not going to do that. So that um, changed for her. And so that took a lot of, um, it's still sad for her when I, uh, sometimes, but she's, she sees how beautiful it is now and what a gift it is. Um, and then I guess my tip when, um, especially like trying to bring your family into your discernment process, because that's, they should be a huge part of your life and hopefully um, helped you in your faith that they should um, be a part of your discernment in a way and how to make that easier. I found um, when I had already decided I was going to enter the convent, my dad was a little more hesitant because you don't, girls don't talk as much with their dads. Um, so I made a trip to the convent and I was like, well, my dad can just come with me. So I stayed, we visited the convent for like about maybe four or five days. And um, so he got to see me interacting with the sisters and um, that helped him a lot when we he actually um, he's a trumpet player so he got to like play for the sisters and they all ask when he's coming back <laughs> um, so then when we were on the drive home he said that he had some apprehensions but once he I think he said like once I see that you with the sisters you're I see that you're kind of already a fixture with them you, he could see that I fit there um, so that's a huge affirmation when you see that your parents who know you best that um, that you fit there it's still difficult for them so kind of give them be patient with your parents <laughs> you know kind of letting you go <laughs>